Hey everybody. So let's do the 111 surface of cobalt phosphide or cobalt phosphorus, whatever it's called. Um, so what we're going to do is load our system here. And first thing I like to do is delete the bonds. So I go to edit bonds and I delete, uh, press apply. So uh, actually, I should have probably showed you how I opened the system to begin with. I pressed Command O. I'm on the Mac. If you're on the Windows, it'll be Control O. That simply is just a hotkey shortcut for uh, this open. So this is Command O. Okay. Uh, so we want to cut the 111 surface. And let's go ahead and visualize that first. So we'll go to Edit Lattice Planes. Here's our 111 surface. It's this internal plane here. Uh, we have an orthorhombic structure. And so there's two ways you can really do this. Uh, one way is a manual way, which I've showed a bunch of times on my channel. Uh, you can expand the cell like this. Uh, so what I would then do is go to edit lattice planes, move this somewhere inside, like maybe let's do negative one. And then you could line it up like this figure out where maybe the next repeating atom is, something like that. Uh, but if you do it this way, it's going to be difficult because there's going to be some, uh, for example, places where you can't exactly find periodicity. Um, and it just, it might be very difficult. Another way you could do it is by using this boundary and then creating a cutoff plane. So you could go to new, one on one. Uh, let's make this negative one. All right, so they're not doing it here. Right. Let me make this back to uh, something like this. Okay, let's apply this. Okay, so maybe I needed to expand this. Yeah, so you could see here that they actually give you uh, the surface. So obviously this, this plane here is the one-on-one -on -one plane and this is the surface. So this is using the cutoff planes. I haven't shown this method a lot on my channel because I don't particularly like it. Um, but yeah, so this is the one on one phase here. Uh, so, but the issue is that you have to find the other sides and it gets really complicated to make a long story short. So in this particular case for the system, uh, what I would like to do is actually use a more mathematical approach. And it's the approach I will recommend when things get really complicated. It probably is the approach you should use in general, uh, but I always like to avoid doing unnecessary math. Uh, but in this case, I think we have to do it. So basically what's going to happen is we start with this 111 plane, right? And we're going to apply some transformation matrix uh, to it, okay? And we're going to get a new vector. And what we want is we want the new vector to be some integer multiple of this 001 plane. So for example, if it was 001, 002, 003, that would be fine. So let's go ahead and visualize what that would look like. Uh, let's use a green. And let's make it 0, 0, 001. Okay, so if we make the D spacing zero, it's going to be down here at the bottom. So let me move this over so we can all see. If I make this D spacing one, see it's at the top. If I make a two, okay, it's just up here more. If I, so you can, you can see that it's simply, it's the same plane, it just matters where I put it, right? So if we end it up, <clears throat> So what we want is some vector that will be 0, 0, and then some constant multiple of 1. So 0 0.5, 1, 2, right? It shouldn't matter because it's the same plane, just shifted by some amount. So here you can do, you just have to figure out a matrix that gives you this. And, and there's actually a bunch of matrices, right? Uh, so for example, here's one. Uh, and you could just make these, right? And this is a, a valid matrix to apply to your system. And it, it will transform the 111 surface to a new unit cell such that it is now the 003 surface in this case. You could, if you really wanted to, 
scale this last column to be one third, one third, one third, and this would be zero, zero, one. Okay, you could give it a try. I personally like this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and VESTA and apply this. So it'll be ones on the diagonal, ones on this column, and then negative one, negative one. So let's go ahead and just show this math quick. So this is a one by three column, and this is a three by three matrix. So you cancel these threes, and you'll get a one by three product here. And let's take this. So I do this first row here times this column. It'd be one plus one, or sorry, one times one is one, one times zero is zero, one times one is negative one. So you end up getting one minus one is zero. We get the same thing here. Uh, we just get negative one plus one is zero. And then here we end up getting one plus one plus one. Okay, so it's one times one plus one times one plus one times one. So let's go invest and apply this now. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this, select okay. So here's our original system, cobalt phosphide with the bonds deleted. Let's go to edit, edit data phase, unit cell. So we had ones on the diagonal, ones here, and then where were the negative ones? Here and here. Okay, uh, yeah, it changes the cell volume, yes. Search atoms in the new cell and add them as new sites. Select apply. Select OK. So now you can see Vesta, okay, no, actually it didn't do it. But yeah, so this is the new cell. And you can see that uh, our, our plane is now basically in the C dimension. So let's go ahead and actually uh, check out the plane. Go to edit lattice plane. Yeah, and you could see the plane is now 003, right? Which is exactly what we had expected it to be here. So now we need to add vacuum in. This is actually gonna be very difficult and it's not easy. And I'm gonna show you this step as well. So this is also a, non, a non-trivial step. Let's go ahead and export this. So we're gonna export it as a VASP. Let's call it COP111C. So the 111 is in the C. Let's save it. Uh, save it as Cartesian, this is very important. Okay. Now I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna press Command W, okay. Now let's go to PyCharm uh, or your text editor. And we have this file. Now, let me make a new file. I'll call it COP111C with vacuum.vasp. Okay. Let's copy in this file into here. Now, if you want to add vacuum in the C dimension, uh, let me load up our crystal. This is the same as last time. Typically, you have to actually uh, do a lot of a a deleting of atoms in the directions you want to keep periodic. This is a very special system where you don't have to delete any atoms, okay? So it's a very special system in that regard. So all you should have to do is just add vacuum. But it's difficult to add vacuum uh, to the C vector because the C vector doesn't contain just a vector in C. It also contains a vector in B, and it contains a vector in A. So you can see this in the unit cell here. So if this was zero and this was zero, we could add vacuum to this particular system by just increasing this value here. But here what you'll see is if I were to add 20 angstroms of vacuum, so I'll make this 27, and then open the file. And then you could see here that actually uh, the angle has changed, right? So if I come into here, edit, edit data, unit cell, uh, the angle here is no longer uh, the correct one. I think this is, let's see, 105.94. And what is this one here? Oh, sorry, it's not this one. This one's 112. This one's 72.3. Whereas this here is 84.96. So it's obviously uh, not correct because we're changing, if we only change the one component of the unit cell, we're actually changing, <coughs> excuse me, these other angles. So what do we do? How do we add vacuum and keep the angles the same? So the target angles we want are uh, these here. So I'm gonna take a snippet of these. 
move them over to a new slide in Keynote. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this now. So what you have to do is just change this proportionally. So this is a vector, okay? And let's go ahead and take some uh, percentages, or ratios of the components. So let's do this divided by this equals that. So this is about 23% of this. And then we'll do this divided by this one. And we get about 42%. Okay. So now if we want to add 20 angstroms of vacuum here, we have to make it so this number is roughly 23% of this. So all we have to do is take this. So first thing we can do is actually this. That'll give us this number. And then we have to just take this number here and multiply it by this. Okay, so we should be good now. So we basically scaled the components to the same degree. Let's go ahead and open back Investa. Okay, and now if we go to edit, edit data unit cell, we should have the same components. Let's just test it. Yeah, so now you can see that the angles have been preserved. So to make a long story short, uh, we now have the 111 surface, which is here, uh, with a vacuum. So let's go ahead now and expand this. Let's do minus 3, 2, minus 3, 2, press apply. Make it space filling, make it cool. Yeah, so there it is. That is the 111 surface of the system. So if you wanted to do the 110 surface, it would follow completely analogously. I would start with the math. Um, but yeah, this is the system and that's it. So yeah, leave your uh, feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think and take care everyone. See ya.